Hello everybody, welcome back finally to my first week back of fourth year of medical school at King's College London in the UK. My name is Tash if you haven't met me before. I hope you'll stick around and watch the video and watch more videos on my channel so make sure you hit subscribe and without further ado let's get stuck in. Hi everybody, voiceover Tash here. So the reason why it was a bit stressful is because you know what it's like, first day of a new hospital, of a new academic year, trying to find scrubs, trying to find your locker, trying to find the ward as a medical student provides to be a high stress event. Anyway, this morning I was in the antenatal ward, so I took a history from a patient, I presented this to a junior doctor, I then followed the consultant and the junior doctors on the ward round, meeting patients who were pregnant and who had medical reasons that were in hospital or complications of the pregnancy. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're on our lunch break. <laughs> We're on our lunch break and we're at Tommy's. Honestly, it's so nice outside right now. Um, we're with Victoria as well. So we've had, it's our first day of placement now and it's been a rough day because we're not really used to the early starts, are we Tash? Look at Tash's face, she's really sad. Tash, what did you have for lunch? I had a chicken and sweet corn sarnie, some carrot and hummus and a sparkling water. Wow. Um, I had a hot smoked salmon and potato salad. It was really nice. Victoria, really nice. what did you have for lunch? I had chicken, bagels, water, and some corn cocktail crisps. Very nice lunch. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop buying lunch because I just spent five pounds on my lunch today. So I'm gonna today, guys, in my next vlog, in the next not my next vlog, in Tasha's next vlog, you're gonna <laughs> see that I am have my own packed lunch. Yeah. Okay, Prepared guys, I'm gonna organized. go. <laughs> that didn't work. I was gonna edit that bit out, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it because it made me laugh way too much. Anyway, that afternoon I sat in on the antenatal clinic, which was really good. I got to examine pregnant women's abdomen, so measuring the fundal symphysis height, um, listening to baby's heartbeat with a little Doppler, and yeah, just finding out how their pregnancy was going. The clinic finished around five o'clock, so I then headed down the eight flights of stairs, which I did climb up to go all of the way there. Then I headed back to the education center, which is where the library is, which I will show you later on in the week, and where our lockers are, and where we can get changed into our scrubs and back into our normal, I was about to say normal civilian clothes, which makes it sound really scary, but I suppose true. Hi guys, quick debrief. Um, I've just finished, it's like 10 to 5. Um, it's been a good day. I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna catch up with you a bit later. So we get our scrubs literally the opposite end of the hospital, which drives me absolutely crazy, but hey ho. Also, look at this funky carpet and the walls and the windows. This is in an actual NHS hospital. I know, a shock. So at about quarter past five, I finally make it out of the hospital and it's such a beautiful day. The sunshine is shining on Big Ben, is shining on the London Eye and I'm feeling very content. Guys, we are home. We are home. I'm off to find Ollie. Well, not find him, I'm off to go home and then get to take Ollie out. Um, don't worry, he's been balanced all day. I haven't left him all day. Who is it? Some mummy! So as you saw, Ollie went absolutely crazy and we settled down to watch Married at First Sight before starting a brand new day on placement. I'm just on my way into placement. Had a very chilled morning. Literally did nothing. <laughs> went for a nap. But anyway, I'm heading in for a assisted fertility clinic, I believe.
So I thought I would just explain the reason why I didn't head in until lunchtime is because I was allocated a study period. So at lunchtime, I headed in to Guy's Hospital, which is based at London Bridge. Once I got there, I headed to the junior doctor's mess to pick up my scrubs, which unfortunately were a size XXXL, which are absolutely massive and is why I'm putting a sad face. Then I made my way to the assisted conception unit clinic. We saw couples who were going through the process of IVF. As you can see, this is the clinic room with the ultrasound scanner, and this is me just chilling before our patients. Then, after a few hours, I headed back down the lift this time rather than the stairs, as I really didn't fancy the 11 flights of stairs. <sighs> Done for the day. I then headed home on the underground before taking Ollie out to meet his friends in the park for a walk and a play. On Wednesday morning, I had a meeting for my quality improvement project, which is a project that we have to do in fourth year. Our project is on reducing the number of hospital-induced hypoglycemic events. After that, I then had a bit of a life admin day, so sending an ASOS parcel back, sending off something I'd sold on eBay. So I walked to the post office to do this. Okay, so I've dropped off my things at the post office. I feel like Wednesdays going forward are gonna be a bit more of like an admin day, like get my life sorted. Because I find that, I always used to be one of these people when someone was like, oh, I'm just doing life admin. I was like, what is that? And now I don't know why, I just feel like I have so much. <laughs> um, obviously like social media, Future Frontline takes up most of that time, which don't get me wrong, I really love. And it's actually really nice having stuff that actually takes time outside of medicine um it means that when i actually get the time to like do some pass med or something i was about to say i actually enjoy it which sounds a bit weird but yeah i basically do so yeah with the goods so i actually took this clip to send to my parents but i just couldn't not include this in this video because look at Ollie watching the football. Isn't he just absolutely hilarious? He's definitely a human, not a dog. Okay, so Thursday morning and I headed back to Tommy's, also known as St. Thomas's Hospital, but I think as medical students, you just call it Tommy's. I've got no idea why, but hey ho. So I headed in by tube in my gym kit, of course, because who really bothers what you're looking like when you're getting changed into pajamas, AKA scrubs. Now I'm looking back on these clips, I realize how gorgeous my walk into placement actually is. I get to walk through Waterloo, seeing the London Eye, seeing Big Ben and Westminster. Good. And quickly back to voiceover Tash. Today I was on the postnatal ward, which is where mothers and babies go after they've given birth, maybe after a cesarean section or if there's any complications. The main thing that we were seeing was PPH, which is postpartum hemorrhage. So I spent some time learning about the causes of primary and secondary hemorrhage. So go and look that up if you want to find out more. Hi everybody, so we could just catch up. Basically I've had a morning in postnatal and now I'm just working out how to log into the computer system. So after the very slow NHS computers finally decided to let me in, I sorted out my IT so that we have access to the right things. And then I grabbed some lunch, which was a Harissa chicken couscous salad before meeting my clinical supervisor, just to go over how I was feeling about the upcoming block and what work I needed to put in. And then I headed to the library just to catch up on some reflections I needed to do. So I think, as I mentioned before, we have to reflect on every single day of placement, which seems like a lot, but I'm trying to get into good habits of doing it on the day. Again, I feel like I'm talking about this all the time, but I just really want to emphasize that even in fourth year, you're not gonna be on the wards from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. You've got time to do your work, to do some studying. Don't worry, it's not super super intense. Then I called it a day, I got changed, took my scrubs back and headed back home. 
we are home. Basically today I was on the postnatal ward, which was very chill. So I'm back home at four, which is nice. It's then going out for dinner with my friends. Then Ollie and I headed to Carnaby Street to meet up with a few friends. Hey, can you do my for me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. I won't mess it up. Okay, now I it looks like I have no other friends apart from you, Zara. Okay. No, we're not doing a long one. We're not doing a long one. Okay, no, just be quick. We're on for dinner with our favourite F1. So the pizza was so good, but of course we had to finish it with McFlurry on the steps at Trafalgar Square. Finally, it is Friday. Thank God. <laughs> what a week. What a week back. So today I headed back to St. Thomas's Hospital and I was on the antenatal clinic again, which I found really useful and I actually learned so much. I really appreciated that the doctor let me call in her patients and I also did their urine dipsticks and I also got to examine their tummies. So all in all, it was a very productive morning and I really, really enjoyed actually getting involved. Then in the afternoon, we had some online teaching and then my friends came around for a Thai takeaway. And yeah, it was just a really nice way to finish my first week back on placement.